Hey guys, uh, it's me, DFL Irvin, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to plant your DFL and seeds, how to water those, and how to end up with uh, Generation Zero NFTs out of as a harvestable things. So first of all, if you can play the game, so if you have a the the desktop, laptop, PC, basically, you can go to play .dfal and that app and just play the game and just take the uh, your plants and just water that from there. But if you don't do not have uh, these um, the laptop or you cannot play the game for some reasons, you can we created a website for you. So it's um, the watering .dfal and that app. So if you go to that uh, that website, you will be just be able to go in here, and you will see the the website like this. And let me just explain how it works, right? So here is your panel with the, where you control all the different stuff. But before that, let me just kind of just tell you all the information that, that you can see here. So here you can see like the, your DFL coin uh, information. Plus you can see like where you can buy buy from there. Also, you, you guys can see like the how many NF seed NFTs are planted right now, as well as how much of DFL was used as a water. So like how much DFL was burnt during this uh, watering event in total. So it's basically overall statistics and that's just basically visualization. So right now we just have the dummy data just we just are showing you. So plus if you want to just get some seeds, you will also be able to buy from the, the secondary marketplaces and also you can just check some different generation of the NFTs uh, as a basically just to get the idea how they will look like and their rarities and so on. And if you want to learn more, go and with the official docs or medium article to definitely learn more. Also, if you get stuck or if you have some questions, how it might work, like what I'm gonna do and so on, just feel free to just check the frequently asked questions channel and you will be basically just, uh, I believe there are all the answers you will need for about anything. So how it works is that first you just connect your wallet. I'm just gonna connect my wallet and we have that. And what you're gonna do right now, so I don't have any seeds planted yet. So what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna click on the plant seed and I'm gonna, so I have uh, 11 seeds and I'm gonna choose like which seed I want to plant right now. So like, uh, you just have to plant one by one. So if you have like 20 seeds, you will have to do this 20 times, but super, super quick. So you just click on the, choose basically which one you want. And then you just click the plant, approve the transaction and it's gonna take several seconds and that's it. So we just gonna plant it our first uh, seed. So if you want to just take uh, plant it another one, just gonna click on that and just uh, you do, do, do the same way. So I'm just gonna do several times so that I have like several seeds planted. Let me just do two more. So we have that. So just wait before this appears. And once these rows appear, it means that you have already successfully planted. And we just gonna add this one as well. And um, I believe, uh, I'm gonna stop at the five. So like uh, we just gonna do all different variations. And that's it. So I'm gonna just stop for now. And uh, I would definitely recommend that if you have seeds, you have to, it will be better for you if you go and just take uh, all of those, basically plant all of those uh, to n right now, because like uh, the more time you're gonna have. And uh, let's say, uh, like uh, I'm gonna just give you what you have here. So you have the seed name. It basically doesn't really matter as long as like the seed name doesn't really give you anything. Plus there is a DFL uh, number, how much you have already watered your DFL with. This is which tire tier, sorry guys, so which tier is the, the seed right now, the plant right now, and uh, how much time is left before you can water. So if you click this, you, can, you will be also like getting the, the details here as well. So like if I click this, I'm getting the details like when the watering is ending, like the watering event, the time left, you can already water, like water days, how many days I have watered the plant, uh, the DFL spent basically how much I have spent as a water and like current tier. So what I can do is that I can sort these things, but everything right now is just the same. So like the sort of doesn't really make any sense. So I'm gonna just get, just go and just uh, water this exact plant. So I can choose like the amount of the, the DFL that I want to spend and the maximum as you guys know is 150 DFL because like uh, we want to make sure that you come daily and you just uh, basically make work really hard to end up in tier one. So you're just gonna, I'm gonna just max out this one. So I'm gonna just click on the water and I'm just gonna approve the transaction just wait some time 
and I believe we're gonna be seeing and that's it. So we got we just planted out uh, water that were first seed and uh you also see like the time left just basically the cooldown just started and um, you will not be able to water that seed for the next 24 hours like I, I want to water but like i cannot do that because uh it's on the cooldown so once the cooldown is out you can anytime after that just go and just uh the water that again and let's say i'm gonna just water this one with uh like 100 100 uh dfl so we got we're gonna do this and we're just gonna get the 100 here so like it's just the new cooldown starts so you can if you click on different stuff you you see like the how much dfl we have spent in total and like the which tier it in and so on so also like if you have like many different seats and like you just cannot it's really hard if you are like you have 20 seats just go one by one but what we have done is like you, if you click here so it's a multiple select basically you will be able to select the seeds that can be watered right now. So like wh wh who, whichever they have ready here, you can just kind of just kind of uh, click on those. Or if you just want to select all, just click here as well. And then you just gonna can choose how much you want to water each one of them. And let's just go and just uh, just do a different amount, like 125, just just to kind of show you how it works. You just click on the water and you click on the approve. And it's gonna take some time, and then that's it. So each one of these seeds are right now watered, as you can see. So I'm just gonna get off this selective mode, and right now you can sort your uh, seeds with the DFL watered or time left, basically the way you wish. And like as you can see, you cannot water for next 23 hours and 59 minutes. And uh, basically, before the time time uh, is uh, ready, you just can go out and just enjoy. And uh, just whenever the time comes, just make sure that you have an uh, alarm clock basically ready to be fast enough to catch the catch the uh, the the best moment to water your seats. And that's 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 easy. That's easy how it works. And uh, also, you guys have you see the statistics here that uh, seed NFTs planted are this much, and the total the DFL water is this much as well. Uh, so you can just track that all the time. So. Basically, that's a quick guide how to use that. And also you, you can use the same way from the mobile. So we're gonna be shooting that from the mobile as well. And I'm just gonna giving you a tutorial how to do the same stuff from the mobile, but like it's basically the same. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, wish you the best watering ever.